Yeah, so I graduated in 2002, 2003. And after college, I started going and talking to the top wrestlers and coaches across the country and just tried to understand what about what they did that really helped them propel to heights that I didn't achieve. I was like a scientist going into his lab. But it was for me, it was about becoming the best wrestler in the world. I came to the U.S. in 2004 uh, for school, and Martin actually hired me to come work at his dad's company. As we were working there, um, you know, Mark and Martin and I, we realized um, we were not exact fits for uh, that company. In the sense, uh, we wanted to push on some new cool ideas, but uh, we were always kind of uh, rejected. And uh, that's kind of when Martin proposed, why don't we start a website on wrestling? And my first question was, do you mean WWE? So before I went to my brother Mark, I worked with Madhu on creating the foundation for the site so that the vision could be painted because Mark was just closing his final semester at University of Texas. He didn't necessarily know what he wanted to do. My goal was to win NCAAs and then continue to run. My final season wasn't going as I, I had hoped and at this time I knew that he was traveling around the country and had a bunch of video for wrestling. So we had this idea that we needed a good vehicle that we could drive and then sleep in. That was how we we're going to get across the country because we didn't have much money. So if we could get a hotel room and a and a car in one, that it that was a good bet. We were looking on Craigslist and we found a conversion van, a 1994 conversion van made by Ford in Dallas. It was between three and four thousand dollars. We put down cash and halfway back down from. Dallas to Austin and broke down. Man, he's pissed. This car that we said was the car uh, just bankrupted us. On that small little stretch, it broke down. And I'm thinking, how is this van going to get us across the whole country? We're off to the Dvorak tournament in Mackenzie, Illinois. So me and Ryan got this big map of the United States and started putting pins, and each pin means something different. One was Olympian, one was, there's a college there. And a very important pin was blue, and that was a place to stay. So in 2007, Ryan Hall was gonna run the half marathon, and Ryan Hall had been kind of under the radar since he graduated college and it's in Houston and he's racing the silver medalist and I go down there to film the race and he goes out and he's just crushing it. Ryan just went through the hockey in 14.05. I'm filming this and I'm like, hey, I should interview his wife because this is just him winning. He's got almost a 100 meter lead on Meb. I think he looks pretty good. Yeah, I think he looks great and he's ready to go with more than ever, he said, but I'm never gonna run fast, it's now. It was a pretty cold uh, January morning and I was really cozy behind three blankets sleeping and uh, Mark calls me at like 7.45 in the morning saying, Ryan broke the record. I edited it and the video was online before lunch and the community had never seen anything like this before. And within an hour, the server company calls saying we are about to max out our bandwidth again. So I had to have a long conversation with two guys in Minnesota to uh, make sure that we had enough server bandwidth to handle it. <laughs> that was uh, the first biggest video in Flow history. Nothing had even come close to it. In 2006, you could not watch wrestling and track and field on TV. Every once in a while, or an Olympic year, you would get a couple of events if NBC or a station wanted to show it. Here we go with the boys, 100 meter dash, everyone is standing up already. The 149 pound championship, and I am truly excited for this match. And so when Martin and I started putting full events out, the community was so pumped that they could see content the day of, content they had never seen before, and on a weekly basis, it was massive for the community. Is Flow Sports done growing? Is this as big as it's going to get? Or where is it going to go from here? Flow Sports is, is only started. And now that we have momentum, there's really no stopping us. Hundred seventy pounds, Anthony Valencia in the black, Mark Hall in the green, 
our sports never got the real due that they were deserved. The stories that were written about them were never done from an athlete or a very high performance mindset of trying to get questions that matter to elites, to top level coaches that the passionate, truly diehard fan would love. I mean, flow sports has amazing potential still to grow. And there are hundreds of sports out there that deserve their prime time. All we have to do is tell the story. Gotta get your feet moving right now. Josephus Lyle saying, this is my race, my track, my time. Ooh.